Thanks for coming. Um, my name is Cisco Fauli, and today I'm going to talk about uh, the current support of SVG filters in LibreOffice. Um, previous to 7.6, there was not support of uh, SVG filters at all. And then one day I stepped upon an, an issue talking about, well, reporting one of uh, the missing filters. And well, I thought, well, uh, there is a similar feature implemented by uh, Mike Aransky for Impress. It was about a blur uh, filter. So I thought, okay, let's uh, take a look and see if I can fix it just as a challenge to, to myself. And then after a few hours, I, I could fix it. And I decided, okay, let's uh, move to another filter and, and so on and so on. And then while working on these filters, I also identified uh, other uh, SVG related issues. So I thought, okay, let's try to fix those as well. And in the end, well, I fixed a bunch of SVG related issues and I'm going to talk a bit about in this presentation. <coughs> So, um, in the standard, the SVG standard, there are 16 uh, filters. Um, so, some of them are already uh, supported in LibreOffice 7.6, and some others are not. So, we're gonna, grow, go, we're gonna go through those filters first. And then, I'll talk about other SVG-related fixes. So, this is the one I mentioned before. This is a really a simple example. But basically, we can see that we have a cycle, and basically, it's using the attribute filter with the URL to the filter, and then, well, it's basically using a blur filter. This is the first one I implemented, and in order to do, in order to do so, I use the primitive, the existing one, uh, soft edge primitive. Then. Uh, this is another kind of um, filter. Well, I forgot to mention that I'm using a lot of screenshots in this presentation, so it's easy to understand. Um, yeah, this is another kind of uh, uh, filter. This is for the drop shadow. Uh, so it basically uses different attributes like the deviation, floor color, uh, the color, or the opacity. So in order to implement this filter, I had to use the shadow primitive to the uh, primitive and then the unified transparent primitive. Another one uh, was uh, the flute filter. Um, before it was implemented, when for this particular example, LibreOffice uh, just gave an error that it could be imported because when LibreOffice doesn't have anything to display from a SVG file, it basically gives a general error and you cannot open the, anything. And on the, on the right, we can see how it looks now. It's just a poly polygon uh, color. And then uh, I also use Unify Snapparent to uh, implement this one. Same for this one. Uh, there is a filter where you can um, basically um, use an image. In this case, this is a data image, a, a, a base 64. So uh, before it was just a blank um, rectangle. And now on the right, you can see how it looks uh, in 7.6. And for that, um, the bitmap primitive was used. Same for the offset. Uh, basically, this uh, <coughs> uh, filter just creates, uh, well, it, it, it applies a transform primitive on the object and creates another one with the offset uh, indicated in the filter. So we see that on the left, no second object was displayed and how it looks now. And then, uh, well, there is this uh, color matrix filter, which basically you can um, 
use different kind of uh, types. Uh, for this one, this is the uh, luminance to alpha. Um, uh, color matrix, probably you cannot see much on the right, but it should use a, a gray scale. And it, this, this was already uh, implemented in the base uh, graphic module. So basically what it does is to uh, apply this equation to the uh, RGB values. Um, we have also the same color matrix, but in this, guide, in this, in this uh, type is the hue rotate. So the same, uh, before no color modifier was applied. And then um, on the right, we see that it's applying the equation we have there. And this was wasn't this was wasn't uh, existing in the code base, so I had to add it. And um, yeah, the same for the type saturate. We also see that um, well, um, there's that's the equation that the standard uh, um, defines. <coughs> and the same for matrix, we can uh, pass a matrix a matrix of zeros or ones to the as a value um, when we define the filter so in this case because uh, when we look at the matrix the first row is a zero and the second one is uh, ones uh, that stands for the green that's why when we apply this um, color matrix the result is that all the, so the circles are green so basically, it uh, applies this equation. And yeah, those are the uh, filters that are implemented at the moment, but there are still 10 remaining ones. Uh, for those that are already applied, it was kind of uh, um, straightforward, straightforward to map those filters from the SVG to the primitives, but I think for this one I didn't look deeply, but it seems that we miss some of these uh, primitives in, uh, in our code base, so we, we should, I mean, we, we would have to create those, and that's something that at the moment I, uh, yeah, I'm not capable of doing, but maybe in the future or someone um, yeah, can maybe know what's going on, yeah, can implement some of these uh, missing um, filters. I added a couple of uh, links where with, with there is uh, valuable information, uh, a lot of information from Mozilla and also from, from the standard. <coughs> and yeah, this is uh, another part that is missing. Uh, this is a kind of, yeah, I, I forgot to mention that um, when you apply a, a filter to, a, to an object in or to an element in SVG, you like in the examples I, I gave, I, I was just using one filter, but uh, actually you can use different uh, filters for the same object. So uh, they apply on top of each other. Um, so for instance, in this uh, example here, we see that um, it's using two kind of uh, filters. So the turbulence and the displace map, <coughs> and there are uh, these three attributes, the in, into, and result that uh, LibreOffice doesn't support at the moment yet. Uh, basically, what, we, what they are used for when we have the first filter, um, then we can, uh, for the second one, we can say, okay, when the in attribute to take the input from, in this case, source graphic, or it means it's using the, the, gra the graphic itself, but you could also use the alpha or the background or different elements of the image. And then, uh, well, basically the uh, turbulence is saving the resulting turbulence value. And then the second filter is using the attribute into turbulence, which means I want to the output of, of the first um, filter I want to use it. So this is not supported at the moment. And then for 
other related SDG uh, issues. Well, um, so uh, CSS uh, styles were already supported, but there were some cases where it was not working. For instance, in this case, when we have, if you look at the style element, we have a element inside the inside another element like G space rect, which means like every rectangle inside a G element has to apply the fill green so that didn't work in the past and now it works. So that's why we see the first uh, rectangle on the right to be green. The same for the uh, child combinator. So when we have, uh, <coughs> for instance, we have G1, the child combinator uh, rect. It means that every rect that is inside the element G1, uh, it's going to apply the, this, uh, this style. So that didn't work in the past, and now it's, it's fixed. Um, then uh, related to text layout, um, well, uh, there was not support for the attribute dominant baseline. So basically, uh, before all lines had the same, um, yeah, they, they look the same. And now with the fix, we can um, indicate that, well, we want to use, um, yeah, we want to use the auto or the middle or handling. So then the different lines, the text lines are displayed differently. And same for um, text and anchor. Uh, in the past, when there was a text element with uh, other elements inside it, like uh, in this case, we have for each line, we have a, a TSPAN element inside a uh, text element. So the problem was that the text anchor was not applied to the to the text children, so it looks uh, yeah, a bit weird. And now it, it looks like it's the same text line. So that's a, that was also fixed. And finally, um, yeah, the attribute DX was not, uh, uh, well, it basically it was implemented, but it didn't work at, at all. Basically, you can use a vector of positions for the DX element. Uh, so if we have a word of four letters and then we have a, the vector of DX is four values, we can apply it for each uh, uh, element of, of the word to, to every letter. So that's how it looked in the past. And now, um, well, the problem it, it, it was that uh, basically every graph was uh, um, yeah, uh, place, like they were scumbled and uh, put um, overlapping, so it was, I mean, like reading text was really difficult and yeah. So now it, how it looks, this is just a basic example, but yeah, uh, now it, it looks much better. So a summary, uh, well, um, during this time, six filters, uh, uh, were supported out of uh, 16, so still a bit uh, a way to go, but that's an, a start. Uh, 71 commits were um, added or committed in SVG IO, which is the module for the SVG filter for the import part. Uh, then 38 new unit tests were added to this module, which makes uh, uh, developing more give you more confident because yeah, uh, yeah, you, you know that, well, there were already some, some units, but it feels safer to, to work on this because you already know that many cases are already covered. And also when, when I was uh, working on uh, implementing the uh, color modifiers in the base graphic uh, module, I added uh, seven new units there as well. So in total, uh, 20, 27 new bug reports were created. But, well, while, while working on it, I reported 27 bug reports. Um, of 
all the SBG, um, SBG bugs that we have in Baxilla, I fixed uh, 37 and 10 other were fixed as a duplicate. So that's, uh, yeah, I feel good about it. <laughs> and um, yeah, there is a meta bug at the moment. I think there, there are still 60 bugs open out of uh, 200. But yeah, that's uh, an improvement. And that's uh, basically it. So thank you. And any question? Yeah, Mike, Mike is there. I think if you, I think if you have the document locally, you can use that. And um, yeah, I have to check. I mean, actually, the SVG filter supports many kinds of uh, images, not just this one here. It, it, this was just an example, but it supports other kinds of images, like uh, re I think relative, uh, like. Uh, paths are supported and I don't think you can use a URL for instance like I don't think like for instance in the, in the browser you you can use an SVG with links to a, a, a website and then you, you have the image there but in LibreOffice I don't think that's working for security reasons Thank you.